Welcome to the first annual ZMS Hunger Games. District 1 are the admins. Papa Smurf is known for being officially sub-10, using Eocross, and for his 12 Days of Christmas series on YouTube. Portugal made the server, although they don't chat much anymore, so I don't really know anything about them. In District 2, we have the mods. Jin the Thief is known for being a fast feed solver, but that event was removed, so he's not really relevant anymore. Raven is a popular Twitch streamer who uses ZZD with CPLS, and he's been joining a lot of ZZ multi-slot cases. District 3 is the Retirement Village. Wombat, when he was cubing, was an OH main, but now he just plays piano and says no you a lot. Sam made the best Eocross video on the server, and was also the original host of the ZMS weekly competition. In District 4, we have the Germans. First up, Sam and Kalifer is a world-class OH solver ranked 22nd in the world. He's also learned full ZBLL. Redstone Tim is known throughout the server for his many reconstructions of ZZ or solves, in addition to his expertise in FMC. District 5 represents the Philippines. Dale Palmaris is one of the fastest 3x3 and OH ZZers around, with an incredibly high TPS. He also has some excellent big cube results. Trixie, though being slightly overshadowed by Dale, still holds his own as a very fast Mega Ming solver, in addition to putting up some respectable OH times. In District 6, we have the ZBLL boys. Omega actually learned full ZBLL before forgetting it and switching to learning Japanese. Lumaz, while he hasn't learned full ZBLL yet, has come up with his own hybrid ZBLL recognition system, which uses both Twisty PLL and Bomb Harris. In District 7, we have people who are good at FMC. Zakamoshi, in addition to being excellent at FMC, is notable for being one of the only full color neutral ZZers. Radmech, while being great at FMC, is also one of, if not the fastest 2 8 ZZer right now, boasting a sub 4 single on camera in addition to being sub 7. District 8 is the Chess Club. Line is superior pace, in addition to having the correct opinion in the EO line versus EO cross debate, can be found talking obsessively about his ELO score. Pi, while also spending a disproportionate amount of time talking about his ELO, is the go-to Harx user as apparently no one else on the server can run it. In District 9, we depart from the ZMS official. Haiyan Kaio Kyung is a Korean CFOP user who has used EOCross to achieve spectacular times, and we all really wish he main ZZ instead. Anto, while spending a fair amount of time in ZMS, is a Ru user from Hong Kong. While he isn't as highly ranked as OH and Simon, he is also incredibly fast. In District 10, reside the original gangsters. Phil Yu was the one who put ZZ on the map, being second in the world in 2012 for OH using ZZ. Alexander Lau did the same for Rue two years later in 2014 when he was second in the world for 2H. However, unlike Phil, his presence remains as he only dropped out of the top 100 recently. In District 11 are the method inventors. Zbigniew Zabrowski invented the ZZ method and is also one of the few method developers who have a world record. Although it's an FMC, so it's not like he used ZZ. Giroux invented the Rue method and is known for being the fastest method developer of the Big Four, being the only one who is sub-15. In District 12, we have arguably the most important members of cubing history. Mitchell, sub Mitch Lane, broke cubing when he got a 625 single in 2013, placing him 8th in the world, despite only having a 1079 average. And finally, the man, the myth, the legend, we have Dan Brown, one of the first people to make a Rubik's Cube tutorial on YouTube. And now, let the games begin. Day 1, the bloodbath. As the tributes stand on their podiums, the horn sounds. Zack and Pace fight for a bag. Pace gives up and retreats. Raven rips a mace out of Simon's hands. Alright, some early aggression. Good. Sam grabs a shield leaning on the cornucopia. Jen shoots an arrow into Portugal's head. Ooh. The mods are rising up, taking out the admins. Papa stabs Mr. Rue while his back is turned. Vicious. Phil finds a backpack full of camp equipment. Pi snatches a bottle of an alcohol and a rag. Interesting, so maybe a Molotov cocktail? High end sets an explosive off, killing Omega and Tim. Wow. Early deaths. Dan and Mr. ZZ run away from the cornucopia. Radmech and Mitch gather food. Anto runs away from the cornucopia. Wombat stabs Lumas in the back with a trident. Ah, yeah, that's to be expected. Alex and Trixie run away. Dale finds water. All in all, a pretty eventful bloodbath. Day one. Anto attacks Zaki, but he manages to escape. Alright, nothing I wouldn't expect from Anto. Hyan makes a slingshot. Jen tries to spearfish with a trident. Sam, Dan, Pi, and Pace hunt for other tributes. Ooh, that's a good group, led by Dan Brown, I'm sure. Mr. ZZ overhears Trixie and Raven talking in the distance. Dale receives an explosive from an unknown sponsor. Alex hunts for other tributes. Mitch scares Papa off. Wombat cannot handle the circumstances and commits suicide. I guess being retired and killing someone right away, that's to be expected. The stress must be immense. Simon begs for Phil to kill him. He refuses, keeping Simon alive. That's so foolish, Phil. Why would you do that? Radneck finds a river. Not too eventful of a day after the bloodbath, but I suppose people are still rattled from all the death. Six cannon shots can be heard in the distance. Portugal, Mr. Root, Omega, Tim, Lumas, Wombat. Okay, day one, most people are still alive. Although District 6, the Z Below boys, have been eliminated because Omega and Lumas both died. Night. Zaki and Dan hold hands. 
Mitch is awoken by nightmares. Sam bashes Radmack's head in with a mace. Ooh, better watch out, Radmack. Raven tries to treat his infection. Mr. ZZ and Alex tell stories about themselves to each other. Papa attempts to start a fire, but is unsuccessful. Simon and Pace huddle for warmth. Phil starts a fire. Dale quietly hums. Antoine and Pai talk about the tribute still alive. Okay, not a whole lot happening. Jen cannot handle the circumstances and commits suicide. Oh no, I did not see that coming, but I suppose after you kill an admin, you might feel remorse. Hi, and Trixie hold hands. Day two. Dan steps Simon with a tree branch. Wow, vicious start. Dale practices his archery. Hyan defeats Papa in a life, but spares his life. I don't get it. I don't get why you would ever do this. Hyan's just stronger than Papa. He should just take him out while he can. Pai tries to sleep through the entire day. That's smart. Sam receives medical supplies. Alex tends to Trixie's wounds. Okay, not much happens. Antu chases Raven. Pace runs away from Mr. ZZ. Three cannon shots can be heard in the distance. Radmack. Jen. Simon. Alright, it's thinning out a little bit, but only 9 people are dead, so still over half remain. District 4 has been eliminated. Simon and Tim are both dead. Um, none of the other teams have been eliminated, and a fair number of the districts still have both of their tributes. Night. Mr. ZZ screams for help. Phil stays awake. Dan stays awake. Pace and Trixie tell stories. Papa forces Dale to kill Hyan or Pi. He decides to kill Pi. <gasps> Man, I would think Dale would be able to overpower Papa. And it's crazy that Hein was attacked by Papa too, because he earlier attacked Papa himself. Anto attempts to climb a tree, but falls to his death. No! Anto! <gasps> Zaki tends to his wounds. Mitch and Raven huddle for warm. Sam and Alex hold hands. Alright, sort of quiet night, but mostly people just sticking together. Day 3. Alex Spears fell in the abdomen. No! He's he's your teammate! Oh, man. That's not a very good move. Hyun diverts Zaki's attention and runs away. Oh man, I feel bad for Hyun. He was such a strong player and he's being picked on by so many people now. Pacer sees medical supplies. Raven practices his archery. Papa diverts Dale's attention and runs away. Oh, so Dale turned on Papa after Papa made Dale kill Pi. Interesting. Sam stalks Mitch. Oh, that's a bold move, but Sam has been doing really well and I don't think Mitch has done much. Dan, Trixie, and Mr. ZZ hunt for other tributes. All right, I'd expect no less from Dan. Three cannon shots can be heard in the distance. Pi. Anto, Phil. Alright, we're up to 12 people dead, so half of everyone is gone. And now only District 5 and District 12 have both of their tributes. Night. Raven tries to sing himself to sleep. Mr. ZZ and Trixie run into each other and decide to truce. Papa and Pace truce. Alex destroys Hyan's supplies while he is asleep. Man, everyone's attacking Hyan, but at least he's surviving. Dan receives an explosive from an unknown sponsor. Dale climbs a tree to rest. Sam severely injures Zaki, but puts him out of his misery. Man, Sam is on a streak. Mitch attempts to start a fire, but is unsuccessful. Alright, we got a pretty active night. Day 4. Pace receives a hatchet from an unknown sponsor. Dan questions his sanity. Oh, come on, Dan, you're stronger than that. Alex and Dale split up for resources. Sam makes a slingshot, no doubt to shoot someone in the head. Papa receives clean water. Mitch stalks Raven. Ooh, Mitch is finally working up the courage to do something. Trixie sprains his ankle while running away from Hyon. Ooh, okay, so Hyon's back on the aggressive. I feel like Trixie's been teaming with a lot of people, so curious to see how he'll manage. Mr. ZZ picks flowers. One cannon shot can be heard in the distance. Zaki. Alright, so that means District 7 is dead. Both Zekimoshi and Rybnak died. I think Sam killed both of them. Wow. Alright, the games continue. Night. Raven fends Dan, Mr. ZZ, and Pace away from his fire. Man, that's pretty impressive of Raven. I would never be able to defend myself from Dan. Hyun looks at the night sky. Trixie thinks about winning. Alex pushes Sam off a cliff. Oh no, Sam! I suppose, of all the people who would have killed Sam, it would have been Alex. Dale cooks his food before putting his fire out. Mitch questions his sanity. He hasn't even done anything this game. Papa looks at the night sky. Day 5. Alex receives fresh food from an unknown sponsor. No doubt he's deserved it. Raven constructs a shack. Dan picks flowers. Pace sets an explosive off, killing Dale. Oh no. Mr. ZZ explores the arena. Trixie thinks about home. Papa ambushes Hyun and kills him. Wow. Papa becoming more and more aggressive. Mitch searches for firewood. Arena event. Fire. A fire spreads throughout the arena. Dan, Alex, and Mitch survive. Mr. ZZ falls to the ground, but kicks Raven hard enough to push them into the fire. <gasps> okay, I'm not sure if Mr. ZZ died there too, but Raven's definitely dead. Papa kills Trixie in order to utilize a body of water safely. <sighs> Pace survives. Our numbers are thinning even more. Five cannon shots can be heard in the distance. Sam. Dale. Hi on Raven, Trixie. All right, we're thinning out a lot more. So District 12 is the only one with both its members alive. The other four members are all separate. Night. Dan begs for Papa to kill him. He refuses, keeping Dan alive. How could you, Dan? And Papa, that's surprising, especially after he's been so aggressive. Mitch receives fresh food. Mr. ZZ tends to his wounds. Alex passes out from exhaustion. Pace looks up at the night sky. The feast. The cornucopia is replenished with food, supplies, weapons, and memoirs from the tribute's families. Mr. ZZ, Pace, and Papa start fighting. 
hiding. But Pace runs away as Mr. ZZ kills Papa. <gasps> Papa, you've died to your methods inventor. Alex, Dan, and Mitch confront each other, but grab what they want slowly to avoid conflict. Day 6. Dan tends to Mr. ZZ's wounds. Alex, Pace, and Mitch hunt for other tributes. Interesting combo. Alex is definitely leading that. Arena event. Volcano. A volcano erupts in the center of the arena. Pace pushes Mitch into the lava. They were just hunting tributes together. That's a smart move. Alex survives. Okay. To be expected. Dan tips his weapon into the lava and kills Mr. ZZ with it. That's what I'm talking about. Dan Brown. Three cannon shots can be heard in the distance. Papa. Mitch. Mr. ZZ. All right, only three people remain. Pace, Alex, and Dan, and all of them have three kills. None of them are on the same team. This is going to be interesting because everyone's proven themselves to be competent. Night. Dan thinks about home. Pace screams for help. Alex dies from hypothermia. No, he was supposed to win. He was one of the strongest players. All right, so it's down to Pace and Dan. Day seven. Dan stabs Pace in the back with a trident. <gasps> Dan Brown with the clutch. He wins the Hunger Games. Pace's corpse lies on the ground, lifeless. Two cannon shots can be heard in the distance. Alex, Pace. The winner of the first annual ZMS Hunger Games is Dan Brown from District 12.